up? Welcome back to another video, guys. Fresh off Santa Barbara trip. I was out there with Harley Davidson the past week riding the 2022 Nightster and the Low Rider ST. Had an amazing time. There's a ton of content coming out right now as we speak. So scroll through the channel. You're going to see more videos. And there's going to be more videos coming in next week from that trip alone. So a lot of content, a lot of cool stuff. Um, there's reviews, there's riding videos, there's vlogs, there's everything. But let's get to today's video. I got a big box right here. I got a big box. We got some goodies up in this big old box. So huge thank you to Harley Davidson. Yeah, so yeah. Harley Davidson was nice enough to send me this out. I've been wanting this accessory for my Rogue Life for some time right now. I think it just really makes the bike. It just makes it pop out more. It just gives it... Uh, I don't know a little umph, you know, so um, We're gonna be adding the chin spoiler in the front um, big old box is just full of A lot of these because it's well protected um, it Should be a simple install what we need to do is take apart this fairing um, Which will be my first time doing but I already know how to do it. So that's gonna be a plus uh, It's a three-part piece uh, Mainly and then we're gonna have some hardware here and there. So you got your bottom piece right here and then your right piece and left piece or however you're watching this put in a few bolts and you're done yeah I'm gonna make it seem very very easy for you got a bag of hardware and some instructions <laughs> So we basically got the right side right here. I went with the um, all black because the way the colors flow on this bike, I think it just might look better. I've seen people put the red one on with this particular color combo. It's just not my cup of tea. I don't think the, the colors flow right when you do that because you got the all black mixed with the red and it's just too much. So um, the black kind of gives it a nice clean look here um, and it's gonna fill in that gap right there where the frame lines go down. Um, let's just get into it. We got the bag full of hardware, just a few different type of bolts there. And then we got the instructions. So we pretty, we know what we do with instructions on this channel. So if this is your first time watching an install video with instructions, that's pretty much what we do. Actually, we can see this first. Okay, so the first few steps are pretty simple. What we're gonna do is take off this Clockworks windshield that I have on top right now. Um, that comes off with the four screws on top. Take our windshield off. And then I'm just gonna put two of the screws out of the four back with the windshield to make sure I don't lose any of my uh, nuts or bolts or anything. And then we're gonna reuse two of the screws um, and I'll explain that in a minute. So this part right here just literally pops up just like that. Now the reason we're gonna reuse these screws right here is because we're gonna put these two right here in the front. This is gonna allow the fairing to stay in place once we take off all the uh, screws that we're gonna take off from the other sides. So that'll hold it in place and it will fall over. All right, so the next screw we're gonna be taking off is gonna be the one right here next to your right turn signal. So that one's gonna be coming off first. We're gonna do both sides. Don't worry about the um, actual turn signal fall off because it's just part of the fairing, so it's not gonna go anywhere. We'll go ahead and do the other side. Okay, so the next screw we're gonna be taking off is gonna be the one right here behind the wind deflector right here on the side that you see. Um, but I'm gonna ahead and take off the actual wind deflector itself um, because we're not gonna be using that. In order to put the no chin spoiler, this cannot be here. So we'll go ahead and do that. is gonna be pretty easy to do. What we're gonna do is take off both speaker covers right here. So if you're able to squeeze your hand in from the top and just pop it out, um, you could do that. If not, you could find some type of little hook where you're able to hook into one of the holes and just really pop out. It'll pop out real easy. Um, but just make sure if you're gonna do that, you're not gonna puncture your speaker. Just take your time. You don't wanna break anything. Take your time, nice and easy. One side will pop out right away, and then the other one will just keep pushing up. So we got our two speaker covers right off. We're almost done with this right here. Now what we're gonna do now is take off one screw um, that holds the fairing next to right where the speaker's at on this side and the same thing on the other side. It's gonna be the screw we take off right here. 
Now you wanna make sure right after you take both of these off, you put them right next to your speaker covers so you don't mix anything up and you don't lose anything. Okay, so we're pretty much done right now taking all the screws off the fairing. Uh, two little things you gotta do, unplug before we go ahead and take everything off, is these two connectors right on top. These are the ones that uh, give power to your uh, turn signals. And as you can see there, I moved it and the fairing kinda moved, but due to the fact that I had both my screws in here, it didn't go anywhere. So, we don't want that to happen. We got two off. Now we can, matter of fact, before we do that, let me at least cover part of the fender here just in case if anything now all I did before was just literally um, hand tighten these both screws I don't really tighten them all the way but I am gonna put my hand right there and place it underneath we don't want that falling all the way down now once we have this fairing off in case you ever want to do any other type of job because you don't only just take your fairing off let's say just do this um, if you're gonna do any type of work inside there or change um, amplifiers or change out your speakers or change out anything you're gonna be doing everything from here um, so now we're gonna go ahead we're just gonna bring this forward and our fairing's off places over here somewhere safe so we're gonna start from our right side first. We're gonna take our spoiler bracket mount right here. This is the right side, and this will wrap right behind and to the front right here. And then we we'll use two of these screws right here, which they provide for us. So we're gonna go ahead and just um, hand tight these in. This is one side, we'll go ahead and do the other side. Now we can go ahead and we'll tighten that up. Not too much, just enough to get a snug in there. Now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna take off this radiator cover right here in the front. Uh, we gotta take that off because we have this new one that's gonna be uh, used for the spoiler as well. So this should come, this should just pop right off. Now right here we're gonna have two grommets and those grommets are gonna go down here. There's two holes right where the radiator is at in the front. We're gonna put that through that hole and then we're gonna put on our chin spoiler in right after that. Okay, so at this part of the video, my microphone had just gone haywired and it stopped working. So for the rest of the video, I will be doing an over voice and just narrating the rest of the install. So right here we have the chin spoiler, uh, which is gonna go in the bottom. You're gonna see two little notches right there. Um, we're gonna be pushing that into uh, against the radiator where we finish installing the two rubber grommets. You're just gonna push that in there. It should snap right in. Uh, and the fitment should be real nice and easy. Um, just like that. So on the inside of every side fairing, you're gonna have a clip. We're gonna put that clip. It's gonna slide in through right there. As you can see, that was already placed. We slide that right over to the top and we're gonna install our side fairing now. It should fit right in place on top of the chin spoiler. Just make sure everything aligns properly on top by where the fairing is gonna go and then right in the bottom of the chin spoiler as well. Everything should fit nice and easy, nice and snug. We're gonna take our first screw from the top where our wind deflector used to be at. I'm um, gonna put that in. We're gonna have six of these screws. They also come with yellow Loctite on them. We're gonna go ahead and first and install our first one. It's gonna go on top of the side fairing on top, as you can see right there. We're gonna be screwing this in, but don't tighten up too much because this is plastic. We're gonna take our second one and screw in through the bottom where we had that clip. Nice and easy. That screws in right in there. Um, don't forget that you're gonna be repeating these steps. This is the clamp that we're also gonna be getting with the hardware. It's two clamps, one goes on each side. This clamp will hold the side fairing onto the crash bar. We're gonna have one on each side. You screw it in. 
and you're gonna notice that the side frame is gonna be very, very tight and firm. We're gonna take our fairing now, fit it over the bike nice and easy. Make sure not to drop anything because these things are pretty delicate. I'm gonna put them right in place. Now you're gonna take two screws, put them on top, so it holds the fairing in place as you play around and screw everything else. This is gonna allow the fairing not to fall. We're gonna take your first screw where the speakers are at, screw that in there. That's gonna hold the fairing onto the bike as well. We're gonna take our speaker cover, snap it in there. Should have three clips and it should be a pretty easy just snap on. Remember, you're repeating the steps on both sides. Don't forget to put in your last screw in three. Now we're gonna take that top cover of the fairing. Um, you're gonna have to take off those screws that you had screwed on before, and that's fine because now everything else is screwed around the fairing. So we can take those off. We're gonna snap this piece right onto the fairing. It should snap right in with the clips. Now we take our Clockworks windshield, place it over. And you can start easily just fastening and screwing on those top screws on. We're pretty much done after this. Pretty easy install, guys. Like I always tell everybody, I am nowhere near a mechanic. So if I could do it, you could definitely do it. A few little simple tools, a little time, and you could definitely do this in your garage. So right behind me, we're gonna have this rear CVO fender, which we're gonna be doing soon. It's gonna be the CVO conversion kit. Um, that should be going on next week or so. I really like the looks of this chin fairing in the front of the bike. It just makes everything looks really broad, uh, real aggressive, just makes everything come together really nicely. Um, it changes the whole look of the bike. Now, once again, huge thank you to Harley Davidson for sending me this out. If you guys are interested in buying this chin fairing, go over to harleydavidson.com. Head over to the parts and accessories section where you can find this chin spoiler. Um, mine had the option to come in either vivid black or billy red. I'm not sure if they do come in any other colors, but you can type in your year make of your road glide and see if they do have any other colors. Um, if you guys are interested in seeing any more content like this, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button. That's going to notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. And no, this issue will not happen again. I will be buying a brand new mic today. Thanks for watching, guys. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.